Okay. <laughs> How many of you guys have more than one? You only have one? One. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, 16% of Americans only have one color. Me? I have 17. I love color. Uh, Y'all probably got that last week. I love color. Um, I'm going to be talking about the process of getting a tattoo. The first step is picking what you want, the design. Me, I draw on myself. Some, most people don't have that talent, so they go to the internet or have somebody like me draw them for them. I've drawn all these pictures on here. These are, I had this tattoo. You see this tattoo on me with my butterfly. These are secret tattoos. I'm going to do all this with this tattoo and a close inside the secret tattoo. All different types. There's different types of artists who do different types of tattoos. There's tribal, which is this picture right here. There's old school, which are these two pictures. There's new school, which is more poppy, colorful. Old school is more like from back in the day, kind of like Gaelic and old. And it's, just, it's not like really different. It's totally different. Um, you have Oriental, which is more Asian, comes from Asia, like. Chinese symbols, like cherry blossom flowers and all that stuff. Then you have black and gray, which is making beautiful pictures out in color, beautiful tattoos. Then you have portraits, which are faces. And you have scripts, which is writing. Those are your types. There's just many more, but these are the basic types. The second part of getting a tattoo is choosing an artist, which is very important. Um, 49% of Americans say the biggest part, the most important part, is having an artist with a good rep. I have three artists that I go to who I'm loyal to, and two are in Tampa, one is here, because I need to go to Tampa. Um, these two artists, Pat Von D and Ed Hardy, are two artists I would love to have tattoos done by, because they're like the only non Asian artists that they can do. Um, I've gone to a tattoo artist who tattoo out of houses. One of my artists here tattoos out of his house. I have no problem with that. A lot of people are against that. I find that cool. Okay. Third part is going through with it. Going through with the tattoo, what you will need if you really decide you want to get a tattoo. So make sure to bring an ID because you won't be able to get I made that mistake. I forgot my ID for my first tattoo. And that's it. It sucks. Um, that you're 18 or over, so you have to be 18 to have a tattoo legally. Um, something to do while getting tattoos, I normally just text them, like, hey, I'm going to call real quick, take your social security notification and all that good stuff. She's like, yeah, tattoo is food. Um, food. Food is very important. You want to eat. If you do not eat, I made that mistake too for my first tattoo. I did not eat anything. I got it at 11 o'clock that morning, didn't eat breakfast, almost passed out. Not a good excuse. You get lightheaded, you get dizzy. Too fancy. Luckily, my tattoo artist that I went to had snacks, well prepared, and money, of course. Tattoos are not cheap. They are very, 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 very expensive. I know I have some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you what we'll be used now. This is my personal tattoo kit that I just got. I don't know if I told you that in the last episode. I was going to run up there like this. Um, it's just laid out on my bed. It's going to be ink. It's going to be ink. You have to put the ink in to hold it. Like, you don't want the like, ink in your face or anything because it's going to stick. They have little ink caps. You have a razor, which is not in the picture because you want to shave the area you're getting tattooed because if you tattoo on the hair, it sticks into your skin. It's like really bad infection. You do not want to get a second tattoo. I have not experienced that and don't want to. Um, you will have a needle tool, which are like grips to put on the machine to help you hold it, like how your pencil or pen has a grip. That's all that is. Obviously, needles. Obviously, a tattoo machine. You will need petroleum jelly to keep the area you're getting tattooed very, very, very moist. You want it to stay moist because it's open. It's going to start bleeding. And it kind of helps prevent the blood and keep 
get married to the cleaning spray because I'm so drunk. And then you tell people I just spray on it to like get it clean. It's like an antibacterial soap. It's really good for tattoos and eczema. Every time I do wipe up and just wipe out blood and all that kind of stuff. And you want your artist to wear gloves. That's very important. Placement. Where do you put your tattoos? That's your tattoo idea until you need to see from the side. Um, this is another tattoo I do. Um, that one is larger than this one. So three to six. Placement is very important because it's going to be on you for the rest of your life. So where you put your tattoo is a big, big, big deal. A lot of people don't want their tattoos to be shown. Me, I don't care, honestly. I don't care if it's shown or not. <laughs> okay. Um, Seventy percent of women get tattooed. Thirty percent of men get tattooed. Which I think seventy percent is really high for women. Like women are indecisive. I know that. But come on, ladies, you should know where you want your tattoos. Like it's just that's just bad. Seventy percent of women lose. Where it's going to be forever. So you want to have good placement as well. I mean, some people don't want invisible eyes and stuff like that. Like, some people, a lot of people, what's the point of having a tattoo if you can't tell? The art of tattooing. What tattooing is, is going, your epidermis, which is top layer of your skin, it goes into your dermis, which is the lower level. The needle vibrates, so it vibrates the entrance to your skin and it plays with your tissue to see whether or not you can tell your tattoo. Excuse me. We're not just going to listen. How to place your tattoo. A lot of people, a lot of artists use carbon paper, which is like tracing paper. You just paste the design over it and then lay it on your, your uh, body. Go from there. I've had artists freehand, which I like. I like a freehand artist because I feel like that shows you're more artistic than most. If you could draw, if I can tell you what I want, you could draw it on me, that'd be awesome. But I've never been to an artist and said, I want you to draw it on me. But I wish I could do that. I can't. Okay, next comes actually lines and shading. First comes lines which this is like the outline of your tattoo. It just forms your tattoo. Shading is what gives it life. Shading is what brings detail, brings the color, brings out everything of the tattoo. As you can see, it's just like that. So if you put color into it and shade it, it looks great. You can tell what it is. Same with this. This is the outline. Once you put shading and color, or not color, more ink into it, you can tell it's Lastly, the most important is the village copy. When you get a tattoo, you do not want to put outline on it. I have made that mistake too. It's not what you want to do. You want to use cold water, um, antibacterial soap, and you want to put a light, small, like dime size layer of A and B over it. No matter how big it is, put too much A and B, you suck the color. Just like petroleum jelly, you don't want to put that on there. A lot of people tell you to, don't do it, it sucks the color. You have your finished product after it takes about two to three weeks of filling, depending on like how you take care of it. If you have finished skin, it's not just a beautiful tattoo, it's gonna stick it out. And these are all.